are. I'm talking. Why are you wearing a Mickey Mouse shirt? I, I just grabbed a T-shirt. Just turn it. Here, here, here. There. Thank you. <laughs> Mickey Mouse sucks. Yes, he does suck. Josh! Welcome to Best of the Worst. Ah, oh, thanks, Rich. Uh, would you like to tell us about our first movie today? For, for, for the record, this is a fake DVD we have printed out. But yes. The, the description on the back, it comes straight from IMDb. Yes, it these is, are accurate. It is the official description of the movie. Okay, so Josh, tell us about Mega Lightning. Well, Mega Lightning, who, after a violent thunderstorm scares a house party. <laughs> official, you say. After a violent thunderstorm. What, dogs? Is it a house party of dogs? <laughs> <laughs> After a violent thunderstorm scares a house party. The dogs are like playing poker. <laughs> and the lightning storm breaks out and it's just happening. The lights go out and it's just. All right, I'm going to go from the top again. Yeah. Because it's, it's all one sentence. Uh, after a violent thunderstorm scares a house party, the guests flee to a nearby home for shelter, only to discover a more sinister hand is at play. Poker. Now they can't escape the stranger's home due to the thunderstorm, but they can't stay inside <laughs> due to the danger that follows them. Uh, okay. <laughs> I mean, I've seen some bad thunderstorms in my time, but nothing that's kept me inside a house is like this, against my will. Is this the worst excuse to trap protagonists in a house with a serial killer? Uh, they can't leave because uh, lightning. Yeah. Lightning. I don't know. Yeah. All, all right. Great. Let, let's see what modern bad filmmaking has I'm, in store for us. Very unexcited for this. I'm just going to put that there because it's not real. Yeah. Well, let's yeah, go we watch don't it. Need to, let's go watch it. I can, I can do it on my phone right now. We don't have oh. to go anywhere. Oh, okay. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, that's watching a movie on your fucking phone. This sucks. Mm. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh. This is mildly interested. Huh. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus. All it's right. Like a PNG image that they keep Oh framed. god. Oh, what the f <laughs> Oh no. Well, Rich, here's another fake DVD cover. Why don't you tell us all about it? All right, uh, we have Fight of Fury. Shunny B gives it his all to stop human trafficking. Oh, oh. His, his, his name is Shunny B. Mm-hmm. B Kick Films presents, okay, okay. Okay, what do we got? When the Master of Martial Arts, ex-Gorka soldier, uncovers widespread sex trafficking network just, Is that right? Uh, yeah. Un yeah. Okay. When, he, when he uncovers widespread sex trafficking ne <laughs> sex trafficking network yeah. in his own backyard in Los oh. Angeles, oh. <laughs> with the help of runaway victims, he orchestrates a massive attack on the traffickers. I mean, straightforward idea. Um, a little garbled. Do you think it's literally in his own backyard? I hope. I, this I, is a low budget film. Yeah. It's probably literally in his own backyard because that would be the easiest thing to do. Yeah, he's just out there getting the laundry off the line. Oh my God, sex traffic! <laughs> oh, how did you get in here? <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Okay, great. All right, let's go. Let's go watch Skeleton Man. Oh no, 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 no. Let's watch. Uh, Wait, Skeleton Man is in that case. Skeleton Man is in that case. What's, what's in the case for Mega? What's like in the? Game? Oh, it's Skeleton Man. Oh. So got that shredder? Take care of this. Nip this right in the bud. I'm gonna. We have it. I'm gonna shove my head in it when we're done with this. You sure you don't want to do that <laughs> now? I, or why am should... I waiting till we're done? <laughs> yeah, you can. You you don't want to do that. We want to wait and watch Fight of Fury first. All right, let's watch Fight of Fury. <laughs> okay, good, good. Hmm. Oh, it's close. Like a lava lamp. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, that was backyard. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah it was a backyard. Yeah. Yeah, Surfing Roots' grinder profile. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> a name for like a, a Tinder for pedophiles. <laughs> Kinder. 
Kinder. <laughs> oh, it's right there. Swiping a little bit. Right there. Grade school photos, like, oh. Right there, right there. Kinder! That's fucking funny! Fucking Ned! Hello, Dolly! Where are you? Listen carefully. In this situation, you gotta have only two options do or die. Come on, give it all you got. <laughs> Come Great on. advice, that'll help me physically. I mean, he's forgetting the third option rape. <laughs> <laughs> all right! Ah! Uh. Okay, we got, let's, we let's got, get this done with, huh? Yeah, we got one more to go. Yeah. And I'm gonna be honest, it's the one I am the least excited for, is going last. Oh boy. Uh, we have this fake cover, this fake DVD for Birdemic 3. A flock of sea eagles. It's terrible. I'm already done, but I have to continue. A flock of sea eagles attacked the coastal town of Santa Cruz, California. Why did the birds attack? Who will survive? That's actually all of it. <laughs> Who are the birds tech? <laughs> Why are the birds a tech? I can't believe when there are the birds, birds attacking. Attack? <laughs> How do the birds attack? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let, let, let's go watch this. Okay. Uh, Skeleton Man. Oh, God, we're going to watch Skeleton Man again. We're going to watch Skeleton Man instead I, of Birdemic 3. I can't believe we've watched Skeleton Man three times today. <laughs> <sighs> I hope it's good. Wait, wait, let me get a close-up now. Let me get a close-up. <laughs> okay, we both got close-ups. Okay, let me get a close-up. Alright. Yeah. Starring Casper Van Dien. Hey! Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, friendly ghost. The comedy mildlings of Mike Stoklos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what was that you were saying earlier really about your comedy sensibilities? Golly! <laughs> <laughs> <Valley>. Hello! Hello! <laughs> oh, my God. oh, no! <laughs> Jesus! Is it on mute? No. I, I think this is the movie. It's just... No, there's, S, there's a vague ambience. It's very quiet. Wolf. It's very, very quiet. quiet. It's almost as mute as the colors. Southern California. Yeah, wolf. what is this color grading? Oh, now it's better. Now it's worse. Oh, focus. Yeah, it looks like it timed out and it went into monitor power save mode. Right. <laughs> yes, oh, exactly. Uh. You're going to shake your mouse. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like I desperately, I do. I desperately want to shake the mouse. It must be overexposed, and he's he tried to fix it, just like oh, drop uh, the uh, highlights. Yeah, and, up yeah. In the contrast. But he definitely wasn't not in camera because it's changing from shot to shot. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, this, is a, this is post production. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 This cord is horribly distracting. Oh yeah! What, oh, how, I, what I, the I, fuck? I didn't even help me, Lord. Help me, Jesus. How did it get up there? I have no idea. <laughs> How's that? That's, Where is the rest of it now? It's up. It's okay. going up under my jacket. Okay, as long as it's not gonna. Well, we'll keep an eye on it. Yeah. Okay, you keep an eye on it. Sure. How did it get up there? I don't know. It's like some, this is madness. It's like a ghost to put it up there. <laughs> <don't>, I thought <laughs> you did that on purpose. No. I thought it wasn't a thing. <laughs> Oh. oh my god. I hate, I hate when it lightnings indoors. Like, oh. t t tonight means we're, we're never going to run out of material. That's the good news. Bad news is we're never going to run out of material. Yeah. Yeah. We're, cursed, we're cursed to do this. For there, will, there will always be an incompetent human beings to make feature films. Yeah. Yeah. Well, even in post production, like the, the editing of old movies when they shot on film, like you had to learn how to use that equipment. Now anyone has, you can get uh, Da Vinci Resolve for free. And you could just use a like a high high resolution camera and just not understand any of the settings that you're using. Yeah. And just start yeah. and just hit record and just hope for the best, and then just release a movie <laughs> with completely inconsistent like exposure levels. I think I think we're all kind of stuck because we watch these films in the order from uh, a screen left to right as you see them displayed. We watched Birdemic recently in our lifetimes. 
Uh, <laughs> Uh, and so we're stuck on this like nightmare of Birdemic Three. But uh, going back, this this, it was, it was, this they're all nightmares, Mike. No, this masterfully told a story <laughs> compared to Birdemic Three. I, I, I had a good time for the first two movies, more so the second one. But even Mega Lightning, Mega Lightning's a masterpiece compared to Birdemic Three. But we're not going to get there yet. We're going to start with Birdemic uh, no. Mega Lightning. <laughs> so so Birdem- we are there. No, Birdemic Three out of the brain. Oh God. Oh. Um, Jay, do a little graphic where Bird Demick comes out of this, this ear. Oh, okay. You ready? Sure. You ready? Yeah. Editing, Jay, you ready? Yeah, I'm going to plug in the effect. Okay, here it goes. <laughs> ah! oh! oh my god, how did that happen? Let's talk about... Oh, Jesus Christ. Let's talk about Mega Lightning. Rich, tell us all about Mega Lightning. You know, I was hosting, and you just kind of took over. He, 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 he. You, got, you got infested by the bird in your brain, and it just took over. Well, you're, okay, you're hosting. I Rich, you're... talk about Mega Lightning. <laughs> well, well, f*** you both. <laughs> hey, we could make you talk about Birdemic 3. The, there's lightning storms that have come across the UK, and they're killer lightning storms that target the specific frequency of human bodies. And that's just, I guess it's just like a new normal thing that happens. Oh, and also there's a serial killer. The spirit torments me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh. <laughs> As written phonetically in the script. U G H. That, that, that is introduced early, but he doesn't come into play until like the last act of the film because uh, uh, this dumb bitch's friends come over for a party and they- Which one's the dumb bitch? They, Which they, dumb bitch? <laughs> what, it doesn't matter. One of the dumb bitches has a party when her other dumb bitch mother- They call them birds in English. <laughs> that's, that's a whole other movie, Mike. He's right. <laughs> <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> I, the film opens with a uh, Australian couple in the in the woods. A lady. A lady a, and a, a guy. Australian lady and aboriginal Australian male. She's also a professional photographer. Yes. She, I, she's allegedly. very good at just like well, she's, throwing her camera in she every definitely direction. definitely takes pictures. She's just taking... She was the DP on Birdemic 3. That's sure, sure. This is amazing. Walking and through the woods on a bright, sunny, clear day. Looking at the sky, I guess. Well, I'm taking pictures. He's got a, a PKE detector. <laughs> yeah. It's a stunt finder. <laughs> I think it might actually be a stunt finder. Oh, my God. And we know there's a storm coming because, you know, there's no rain and no clouds in the sky. It's beautifully sunny. But they keep talking about the storms that are coming, and they're horrible, horrible storms. Yeah. And the lady doesn't seem too worried about it until the lightning starts chasing them like a movie monster through the woods. The storm I didn't know is it was chasing them. possible to have effects this bad in this day and age. Oh, uh-huh. Linda! Oh! Linda! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Just in case. Oh my god, this is shocking. Literally. But I was like, you're not, you're not even trying to make a pun. No, no but I'm oh, just... Uh, it's, uh, mega it's, it's like suburban Sasquatch level effects, but that was like a movie he shot on his camcorder in yeah, 1998. It, it's weird to see those effects in like and, a and HD like, movie. Yeah, it's like a professional, fe- relatively professional feature film. Oh. Ah! It made no sound. <laughs> but yeah, like uh, lightning hits the house. It hits a couple houses and like collapses the roof. And it's just like a, a static 2D image of yeah. they just cut it out. No, it takes a big bite cut it out. Out, of the, out, of the, out of the main house. Yeah. So, so our, our first couple gets killed, the Australian couple. And then we see uh, an American woman whose car is broken down by the side of the road. And she's she's accosted by a, a gentleman, who who kidnaps her, and then ties her up in like a his upstairs bedroom, because he's a psychopath. And he's done this before. Many he has times, a photo apparently. album of what he, he he says he like uses a very careful incision to kill women with it's draining their blood. Very bladders. precise work. Yes. Who are these girls? How could you do that? Where'd you get those developed? 
<laughs> Look, he should be proud of his work. I mean, it takes a lot of skill to cut somebody with a rubber knife. He's insane, though. That's true. Oh, I get your, your joke. He has a he has a butcher's knife. That is supposed to be like a butcher's knife. Oh, sure. But it is a it's, it's clearly a plastic. plastic. Meat store knife, yeah. It's like almost the size of a machete. Yeah. It's comical and it's so <laughs> thick and clearly fake. Why? You use that for like a stunt. So sure. In the close ups. Or you no use that when you go as Michael Myers for Halloween. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Don't get a close up. <laughs> What are you thinking? <laughs> the flashing is still on the edge of the plastic. You can see where the seam cut, is. Right? It's, yeah. like, it's, it's, it's like matte. It's, it's not even reflective. It's not even made of metal. It's not a rubber knife, okay? He just uses that knife so much that the blade has gotten <laughs> very dull. What very the, dull. What about the Rambo knife at the end? Look at it, look at it. Ah, another rubber knife. That's a different rubber knife that's worse than the other rubber knife. Holy crap. You don't even put that in a like a five year old's movie. <laughs> That's amazing. Next they're gonna use the classic joke store retractable knife. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll see it like retracting yeah. Mr. Stabbing. Help me out. Uh, we, th they never really say exactly where this is set. No, it doesn't matter. Because we we, we we were like, oh, this is an Australian movie, because the two first two characters are, sound Australian. And then And then we cut to the car and there's the redhead girl, Meg and her very British sounding boyfriend to where you can't even understand him, tattoo guy. Yeah. He, and they were like driving, we're like, these are now British people, like very British. So we- Look, we're talking about the, the mega lightning universe. The sequels are gonna explore yeah. all the different places across the world there, yeah, we're that mega lightnings have happened. Right, but- uh, I so hope in the future sequels, we understand the characters better so we don't have to turn on the fucking subtitles. <laughs> <laughs> Which we did. We, we literally did. turned on the subtitles because we couldn't understand these weirdos. I think we're going to watch some films with Sally, aren't we? She's going to be mad. what Paulie might say about me. I'm not a title writer. Well, as long as we're not getting any cheap cider like in college. <laughs> That's how little and that is. Time to go G&T. It was circling around waiting for your green light. Look what we got. God, there's something oh, must have happened no, anyway. No. What? Um, Meg is on a date with her boyfriend. Uh, mullet tattoo guy. Oh, yeah. Very, very... Very, I don't know, British trash? Oh. Euro trash, I guess? Chav. Okay, he has some sweet tattoos, no, no. though. He's got Bernie Sanders and Tilda Swinton right on his ass. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> no, they're on a date, remember? And he's like, he's like, oh, I think it's time we had make out now. And, and, and she's like, no, I'm not ready. And then she talks to her sister. Her name's Meg. Her sister's name is Corinne. Yeah. I know you had a really bad relationship, past relationship. Take it slow with Tattoo Guy. Okay, maybe I will. The end of story. Presumably that story thread was further developed in the wonderfully staged scene where she talks to her elderly father. <laughs> no, they just talk about the newspaper. I, I, how do you know? How do you know, Josh? We, we didn't have the subtitles, the subtitles on yet. <laughs> we, did, we turned them on in the, in the midst. We did, we turned them on while they were in the car. We had the subs on for that. But, but I think we were just, we were doing Beatles impressions and stuff. <laughs> ah! So you just need to wear shoes with the rubber soles. Ah, You're all just good. go shoot right through. I can't even make proper jokes. <laughs> I'm so in Liverpool. <laughs> oh, they call the album Rubber Soul. So our fans is, <laughs> are protected from lightning. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it, it. You it, spell soul differently. It's a pan. <laughs> it's a pan ringer. I wish I would get struck by lightning now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm this nightmare. <laughs> We are doing anything to distract ourselves from the boring shot reverse shot yes. of her and her dad. That's one it's just thing we over never talk and over. about. We, we don't talk about too much is blocking and business. Yeah. These are two B words that involve movie making. When you have your actors in a scene that's just dialogue, you have blocking and business. Blocking is is characters like sh where they're shot, from which location, what they do, move around the room, stop. Sit down on the couch, get up, walk over here. That's blocking. Grab, grab a book off the shelf, grab a book off the pour shelf, himself do, a drink. Yeah, well, that's business. That's business. Yeah. Oh, that's, okay. that, blocking is camera angles and locations. Business is, well, she's going to do this now. It's, it's a way to make like, like, like boring, boring dialogue, dialogue scenes. Or expository dialogue work. This director says, girl comes in, kind of half sits on the, the armchair of, of couch. Dad sits in the chair. Two shots. That's your block. Back and forth, back and forth. 
They right never there. move. Every scene is if like If you that. watch no any business. like professionally produced TV or movie, at some point, after five or six lines, a character will get up, move over to the other side of the room, sit down. That character who was on the couch will get up, walk over here. It makes it visually interesting for you. This director is suck. <laughs> <laughs> Like, like the physical embodiment of the concept of sucking. <laughs> yeah. it's, so, it's so bad that at one point we were theorizing there wasn't a director. <laughs> That's but right. the movie just happened. I'm, 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 uh, I'm at the windmill cottage. So she forgot her line. <laughs> Fun fact: This is the first movie to just not have a director. <laughs> Someone hit record and nobody knew what to do, and they just figured it out as they went. Wow! Yeah. We got a script. Should we read this? <laughs> I don't know. I'll just mumble a bit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, the camera was on. No. Look, it's going to stay on camera, all right? <laughs> oh, it's hanging from my girlfriend's nose ring. <laughs> the camera. <laughs> well, we just filmed the rehearsals. <laughs> Call it the movie. You're, you're forgetting the whole subplot where the sister's boyfriend wants to go to the jacuzzi. <laughs> the jacuzzi. The jacuzzi. Can we just go back in the hot tub now? Why don't we go back out to the jacuzzi? I, re I, I related to that man the most. One, because I could understand him. <laughs> he was, he like, was the most the was like, best, so best diction. Was so great. Like, shows up, and he's like, he's like, let's go in the foot and jacuzzi. And I was like, oh, I could understand yeah. him. His words and his motives. And, yeah, and yeah. his motives, and uh, and uh, he, he had the dad bod. Bunch of sad sacks. He wanted to get in that that warm jacuzzi water and float those moobs, <laughs> and and just just chill out. And then <laughs> lightning got him. <laughs> Well, I don't Where's like the it much at all there. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> Could have been worse. Could have been worse. He didn't explode. <laughs> I'm shocked it wasn't worse. <laughs> the worst thunderstorm that humanity has ever seen. Every, and every every instruction from the authorities is stay indoors. Stay inside. There's lightning that is literally targeting human beings. And this guy wants to go out into the fucking jacuzzi, goddammit. <laughs> but uh, so when the mom, the mom and the grandpa, the mom. That's her husband. It's the dad. <laughs> the mom and the dad. <laughs> grandpa, grandpa dad. dad grandpa um, dad. Grandpa dad and Meg have some kind of bond. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Right. They, they have um, a conversation. Grandpa? I think it's that uh, she's his daughter. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> or granddaughter. Yes. Or both. Meg and dad have a bond. And mom and dad, grandma and grandpa, I'm just going to call them grandma and grandpa because they're old. <laughs> they say, we're going out somewhere. We know the lightning storm is coming, but we booked this trip oh, well in advance. Yes, is that's what they right. Say. That's right. Yes. So we're gonna go, even though the every every uh, every but station says from, to stay indoors. Yes, yeah. but, but from a viewer's perspective, we want the big, wild, like like teenager oh. party. Yeah, the thing is, the the spiel on the back set us up for a house party. Yeah, oh. a house party. Do you expect all sorts of yeah, like a crazy fucking house party? Lightning <laughs> hitting everybody as they run around and explode for <laughs> wild shit. It is. I think if the movie had its way, if they could do, if the movie could have done whatever the movie wanted to do, that's probably the direction they would have gone. But, but this is a shitty low budget movie. And they only had eight people to and work they, with. They got eight people. And yeah. That's fair. Six that's people, fair. really. Uh, two people behind the camera, and then. It's four people, and two of them can't even show up to the party. No, they don't make it. Wait! What? Oh my god. Oh, oh Jesus! Geez. <laughs> That's the end of that Remember story. Remember when line. Grandpa died? Oh, <laughs> he did, I don't think he did. Well, I'm he, pretty sure he, he didn't He was die. breathing, and the mom didn't even check. Yeah, no, she just ran off. I'm going to say it. What the mom did was sensible. 
She's, run, she's not gonna safe. run and stop to check on dad when the lightning is zapping all around you. You need to get your ass to safety. But where's safety? There is no that, safety. In the house of a serial killer. The lightning will That's kill not you. That's safe either. Well, she doesn't know. They that. stopped their car because they saw that another car had blown up by lightning. He called his parents. <laughs> he called his parents off. He called the police. He called Don't try this hard. <laughs> Just don't. don't try. <laughs> it's just gonna make things worse. Just don't. <laughs> it's for more real, mate. No, 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 no. And then they go out in the woods, and they're not. Lightning is attracted to the the electric oh, electrical pulse in the human body. Oh! oh. 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 <laughs> just the head. <laughs> oh, I like tattoo guy. Oh. <laughs> At least he's even out. Though he, even though he had He got enough for his reel and he's out. <laughs> yeah. and, he's like, and then it's all, also attracted to the roofs. <laughs> There's the, the low res roofs. JPEGs. It's attracted to low res JPEGs. We were talking about any sort of dramatic conflict between any character that's not a serial killer. What you do is you establish early on in the movie they have a, a rough relationship. They don't get along great. And then by the end of the movie, when they're confronted with the serial killer, they have to work together and they grow uh, a stronger bond as sisters. And that's a movie. I'm coming to need more blood! Oh my god, how did he find us? This guy with the headbutts! Hit him again. Just keep swinging the fucking thing! You fucking idiot! Such an empowering story of women being bad at everything. <laughs> Every time after the the, 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 the serial killer is incredibly efficient with his headbutts. He's so good at it, he doesn't even have to like make contact. No, it affects he him. can move you entirely, but it's just I mean hey, maybe it's psychic. It's below the belt. No, it's above. It's literally above the belt. You're right. Oh! <laughs> oh, what? that's right! I remember that's, that from the trailer! It's just been there the whole time. The sword. He's <laughs> just too wore out to pick it up. Oh my god. He's so tired from failing at everything. Oh, oh. Ooh. They just went to a, a party city yeah. and just found. Just the we could put these in our movie. Oh no. Are they going to fight? Feel this energy. <laughs> that. How, why? <laughs> oh, okay. Well, oh, Jesus. They have a sound effect. Yeah. Sound yeah. Was the idea. Was the sword supposed to be so heavy she could barely lift it? Yeah. Is that what was happening? <laughs> yeah. No, he's gonna pick up. Yep. 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 Yeah. Here it comes. Oh. Oh, oh. oh, she pushed him into the. She knew where the lightning was. She had some actual agency. This director is suck. You won't for all, mate, but you're keeping the jobs on your up now. <laughs> Rich, you put the cock in cockney. <laughs> I put the cock in my mouth. <laughs> what? Why what? would you say that? Uh, why would you say that on the camera? <laughs> <laughs> Good thing I'm not editing this. <laughs> Can you be special guest editor for just that one line? You could somehow find a way to stretch it out to 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got some guy on YouTube to make a rap song. Yeah, who's that it. guy that does like the remixes of stuff from yeah, their videos yeah. and does I'll music to it? And he's gonna have a field day with that. Get my mouth. Get my mouth. Oh, oh god. I put the cock in my mouth. One movie down. We're a third of the way there. I'm down. Get this oh over with. Okay. I'm really down. Fight of Fury. Oh, oh this was a, a one that was approved and recommended by multiple people. You Colin from Canada. Bastards. Uh, Len Kabazinski, oh. our old friend Len Kabazinski. Uh, I know he's a fan of it. Um, classic black tank top movie in terms of writer, director, delusional star. Where's a black tank top? Where's literally where's a black tank top in literally, it? Literally, it happens. His name yeah. is Shunny B, and he made Fight of Fury in 2020. Josh, no. it's the main plot of 
Fight of Fury. Well, in Fight of Fury, uh, Sugar Bee is... Sugar Bee? Honey Bee. <laughs> we were calling him Honey Bee, yeah. What's yeah. his real name? Shunny. Shunny, Shunny Bee. Bee. Okay, what's his name in the film? Shunny. Duh. Well, no, his name in the film is Brandon. Brandon. What is even though even though there's like text behind him in his his Did dojo you? that says Shunny B. Are you, are you kidding? His name is Brandon in the film. Yeah. I'm Brandon. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Watch me take this man down in 36 moves. <laughs> <laughs> so Shunny B has a dojo and he's teaching all these ladies how to self-defend, mainly by slapping. And uh, meanwhile, there's uh, Taylor Swift is getting chased by the uh, formal rape club. <laughs> and <laughs> they're chase they chase her uh, to the back of Shunny B's dojo and he uh, Bruce Lee's the fuck out of all of them, mm -hmm. at one at a time. Taylor's not so swift. Hey. <laughs> So he, he, he Bruce Lee's them one Maybe at a time. Maybe they're all mad because they tried to get tickets to her concert oh. through Ticketmaster. Oh. <laughs> you fucked us over! <laughs> How dare you! <laughs> hey! Cheers to a dated joke. <laughs> Oh, oh, if only oh, she opens. opened the door. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at all of those rapists. <laughs> <laughs> they all get nicely dressed up. <laughs> Shunny B's going to see me. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Shunny B. <laughs> oh, my God. What is he, like, five feet tall? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> or is he... But it was shocking. Is there a step down? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Wow. Shocking. Oh my god! Uh oh. Uh oh. Where are they? Where do they, they teleport? Everybody stand there. Oh my god. Jay, when I said they're the formal rape club, I'm not just talking about the dress. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Wow, Taylor Swift is having a hell of a night. <laughs> it's it's an amazing action sequence. The choreography it's is well just beautiful, as well. and, and yeah, editing, uh, acting, performance, everything is great about this. Yeah, sequence. it is most assuredly not a surreal dreamscape in which all the dialogue is overdubbed with an echo effect. Maybe this particular technique works for her, might have been for him or him. Did they add a filter to make the sound worse? Yeah, that's the weird thing about this, is the whole movie has an echo on it, and there's random jump cuts. It feels like a nightmare. Yeah, and this is specifically edited by Shinny B. He is given, he's got the credit. Okay, so. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Oh my god. We only have five frames. What do we do? <laughs> Maybe he edited it using kung fu or something. I, I think he's just incompetent, not intentional. <laughs> he's sitting there with his keyboards. <laughs> he, has, he has no idea what he's doing. He's and and why? hitting the keyboard with nunchucks. <laughs> Realistically, why is the entire film ADR? That's kind of a long story. The question I have is, though, why go for the echo at all? Yeah, you, it's it's very clearly a post production. It's like, a choice effect. because yeah. it's, it's you're doing the you're doing the audio and post. You can be in a nice sound booth. It's you not bad get, sound. You can get yeah, yeah it's, you it's can get clean audio, yeah. but they chose to put that echo on there. You take things a little too seriously, right? Chillax. I got this. All right. My only theory is that they thought that it would sound too, because ADR can sound kind of like dead and weird yeah. if you don't don't like mix it in properly. Sound done perfectly. Yeah. So my sure. only the only thing I can think of is that they did it because they thought it would make it sound more natural, like he's in a real room. Well, it's, and the thing is, yeah, there's a level of reverb you can mix in that does sound fairly natural, yeah. and you just have to mix it down and yeah. do it properly. And he did not necessarily know how to do that. No, but I was gonna say he like. 
in the dojo or in, in a certain environment, a little bit of reverb is good. Mm -hmm. But then they're like in the open air. <laughs> they're and outside. Also, there's yeah, more that, reverb. <laughs> yes, that should be dead because... He reminded me of my childhood. Well, it's Hollywood. There are all walks of life here. What's the plot of Fight of Fury? <laughs> so Tell uh, us about the plot. We he find saves, out that he saves lady. Swift, I want uh, anybody has... tell me about the plot. <laughs> <laughs> so Taylor Swift has escaped from the, the, the sex trafficking ring, and apparently, although she never mentions it to anybody, she has some sort of integral hard drive that has oh, all yeah. the data. I want the hard drive back that she took. That drive was all the goings on of our business. That's never brought up again. I, I think oh, that was. It's brought I, up by that same character a few times, but only him. Let's talk about the origins of sex trafficking. <laughs> In this movie's logic, a couple of ladies go out to their local, uh, local empanada. TGIF. Oh, <laughs> TGIF. <laughs> it's Whatever. It's, it seems like a crossover restaurant. It's like a, restaurant, like a Chinese like, restaurant. But, but it seems like it's got like, yeah, empanadas and pakoras. They have like a couple of empanadas. <laughs> they have, they have the, each lady has a glass of wine. All right, girls, check this out. You know what I got over here? This is what I call partying. Uh, is that your phone? Yeah, what the hell? You want to have some? Digital cocaine. <laughs> it's a cocaine app. <laughs> <laughs> Spring oh. like cocaine in their wine? What? Oh, ecstasy. Okay. Oh, he crowned up an ecstasy pill? Yeah, I, just drink it. It's I don't from know a complete if I drink stranger. Weird powder from a stranger, but. Push it down. Who would have thought this would go bad? A uh, chooch guy. Beefcake chooch. Beefcake. Hey, uh, ladies. He's like, he's like a cast member from the Jersey Shore. Hello, Dante. Did you kill that motherfucker? He comes over and he's like, he's like, hey, ladies, you want a party? And, and, and he's like, terrible overdub. Yeah. yeah. Hey, well, can ladies. I please put drugs into all of your oh, drinks? How about you try to party with me? And they're like, no, we're okay. We're just having a girl's night out. And he's nope, like, too bad. I'm in oh, here anyway. Why don't you try this box, this mystery <laughs> box I have? It looks that like that a phone. That looks it's like a phone case or something. My cell phone sideways. Why is your box labeled roofies? <laughs> <laughs> all, all the ladies faint. And then they end up in in the sex trafficking ring. And this movie's logic, the sex trafficking ring means if you wake up in a sex trafficking ring, you are suddenly like You just accept it. You get put on a little slinky dress. You've you've and definitely high heels. taken some some classes where you learn how to walk and yes. pose. And you're you're just, addicted to drugs immediately. It's like becoming a vampire. Sure. Oh, yeah. You get bit by a vampire and suddenly you're, you're okay you're with going out every now. night to, to kill somebody you to drink. drink. The allure of being an escort is, is all encompassing. You be, you're just like, I mean, it's to still be fair, some when you watch the movie, it does look very glamorous. So. It is glamorous. I, yeah. I mean, yeah, they're yeah. hanging out in front of the art museum or whatever that is. I envied them. Hey. I was nervous my first time, too. That was like, that was last week, so. So I guess I'm okay now. <laughs> 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 It's, it's nice to have like an upbeat kind of fun song for forced prostitution. <laughs> like, it just fits the tone right. Yeah. Uh, chic. <laughs> and Fraser Crane. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Shuni B is raising his daughter by himself. The wife is out of the picture. Oh. And maybe dead or not. It's kind of They never came back to that, did no. they? Nope. Nope. Well, it's established early on. We thought, because the first scene, he comes in to see his daughter, and it's a very beautifully acted scene where she says, I miss mom, good. and she has a great monologue. I'm sorry, darts. I had to take care of some business. I couldn't sleep. I was thinking about mom. It's too bad I can't see her anymore. I miss her so much. I want to see her smile at me. <laughs> I want to see her mad at me. I want to see her do everything moms do with their kids every day. <laughs> Just close your eyes and try it. <laughs> Thanks for nothing. <laughs> Tomorrow we'll get you enrolled in acting classes. Whee! <laughs>
I just assumed it story. was partly written, but I assumed the point was that she was dead. But then they make a point yes. later on and saying that she's still around yeah. somewhere. We don't know where. And then poof. She was raped and murdered by human traffickers in my oh. home country, Nepal. Oh, no. What? She was nine months pregnant with my unborn son. I'm so sorry. I didn't know. But she's not dead. But she is dead. It's just a school girl. Work me and fighting against a terrorist in Afghanistan when it happened. He said she's been sex trafficked while he was away yeah. in Afghanistan. But I thought he said she was she was killed. No. 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 Or I don't know. We don't maybe, know. Maybe, we don't know. Yeah, who these knows? Are, these are mysteries left for a later date. <laughs> for our next episode. Remember when he cries? At Griffith's Observatory. He's crying at the Griffith Observatory. He's talking about his dead wife. <laughs> I think both of us fucked up the name of that place. Griffith. 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 He's crying because they showed up and said, do you have shooting permits? <laughs> and they said, no. <laughs> this is Hollywood, baby. I got, I got a cell phone. <laughs> What's a shooting permit? I don't understand. Oh. <laughs> I don't need to shoot. I do karate. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't that type of movie. <laughs> I don't right in the corner of Glen Arm and Pasadena. I'm a MMA fighter. I have an upcoming fight. I heard about you and your fighting system. <laughs> I need you to train me. Great, thank you so much. Mahal, I gotta ride this bike over there. What a great phone call. <laughs> <laughs> There's an MMA fighter that wants to train with Shuni B. Yes. Uh, and he oh, was gonna yeah. fight. Never show up again. He ne no. He, he was, never shows up again. He's probably just still on that bike. Just Hello, like, I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna get there, not realizing the bike is stationary and he can't leave. <laughs> <laughs> he thought it was a real bike. Yeah, he's like, I can't, I gotta get to the dojo. I gotta just I pedal harder. I forgot about him. What was the point of that scene? Well, because he's the <laughs> MMA fighter that's gonna fight the dude with the weird the hair. Oh, oh, the Mohawk yeah, guy? Yeah. 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 Who's in charge of the prostitute? Who's in charge of, no, no. No. Female prostitute MMA fighter. There is a split. When you get kidnapped by these people, you got you got two paths. You can go into the you can go into the sex trafficking, or you can get into the foxy boxing and foxy MMA. Boxing. <laughs> these these MMA fighters are angry because well oh god I mean I get why the sex traffickers are mad because the girl has the hard drive allegedly. I don't really understand why this, the MMA fighters are uh, that pissed at. The only be. one who had a hard drive was Honey Bee. What? For Taylor Swift. Because you remember that awkward scene when he wrestled with her? <laughs> this is getting weird, <laughs> Mr. Honeybee. Relax, relax. I'm proud of you. You did a great job. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. And then uh, I'll get off you, let you invite me to dinner at your and that's when the, dad's house. That's <laughs> when the Spanish guitar kicks in. That's yes. Uh, ding, ding, ding. That was an amazing scene when he went over to their house for dinner, though, and you couldn't understand a word they were saying because <laughs> the music was mixed too loud. I just want to thank you for saving my daughter's life. Seriously. Maybe he doesn't know you can adjust the volume in your editing software. Yeah, he just imports. Just drops it. That's why the echo's on. So whoever was using the program before him just left it on. <laughs> <laughs> Apply I, to all tracks and it's just on. Yeah. <laughs> he looks miserable to be trying to act. <laughs> he looks miserable to be He's just on his life. fucking phone. Sunny V's oh, looking at the script. Ah! <laughs> that was the script, right? <laughs> yeah. It looked like a <laughs> screenplay format, yeah. <laughs> he never did quite, like, seal a deal with the girl, did he? Well, not no. in this movie. Not, not in this movie. Not in a, like, lovemaking son. You don't to resolve everything, Mike. There's a lot of things you gotta leave room for because this is the beginning of the Shunny B cinematic <laughs> universe. Yeah, this 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 will eventually will turn into Remo Williams. The adventure continues. Like his, oh, his, yeah. his daughter's probably gonna have her own adventures because we know she kicks ass. What? What's happening? Hey Maya, here? give me your homework. Why didn't you do it yourself? You talk too much. Charlie, giant mouse, get it! Oh my god. Child fight. <laughs> These are the kids in Honeybee's class. Yeah. You are an honor student, Maya. We don't want anything to jeopardize your school record. What was that a growl? There's a tiger in the room. You missed a child fight sequence. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, what? <laughs> what is this? Why is this? <laughs> <laughs> 
someday you're gonna hear us on the radio. Hey, yeah, don't you know? I'm what? Take it slow. What? 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 What just happened? What? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? What? I don't know. I don't know. What? There's, <laughs> there's hard drive girl, but we've never seen the hard drive. No. Hey, remember when we see that little kid doing karate for like two seconds? Yeah, oh, yes. that's why he's late. That's why he's late to the Griffith Observatory. Yeah, yeah. because yeah, yeah. They, they were, were filming, filming a, movie. a movie. They were filming in Hollywood Boulevard. Mm. A boy was doing nunchuck, nunchaku. Oh. So the the, 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 the the sex traffickers are still after uh, Taylor Swift because apparently she has a hard drive. But the MMA guys are also coming after Shinny B for some reason. I don't really well, understand. Well, they want to they want to sabotage. The other MMA guy that Sonny B is training? Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't play fucking dumb with me, you dipshit. And so they kidnap Sonny B's daughter. Okay, yes. because they don't know that he never made it to Sonny, B, Sonny B's dojo. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know that he's still he's the other still two. on that bike. Going They're going on the intel they have. Here we are. Come on, Maya. Daddy's waiting for you. I... Run away from Tim Burton. <laughs> <laughs> I believe all of this. <laughs> Take that, Eric Bogosian. <laughs> Guys, you don't. Yeah. You don't have to do that. You can go around it. Tim Burton is one of the t crime people. Uh, uh, James Eha. Uh, but James Eha from the Smashing Pumpkins. No, no, but in this movie. Yeah, he's got the like. Uh, he's like. Remember when they're uh, the prostitutes are out in front of the art museum and there's the. I, I remember the, the 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 chic. Yeah, you were too distracted. You were you were you were rocking the Casbah. I understand that. <laughs> Maybe I was rocking the cat box. <laughs> hey. So okay. Okay. Eventually, Shinny B discovers uh, some of the henchmen hanging out in a dirty Sanford and Son backyard. Oh yeah, that filthy filthy backyard. There's just crap everywhere. It made me want to puke. Now there's a bottle of antifreeze on the barber chair. Don't, don't hurt Flynn Wolfhard. <laughs> <laughs> Flynn Wolfhard. Yeah, there's just shit laying around. Yeah. Clean up your set. Well, it's someone's nastiest backyard. I, I, mean. I mean, sure, it's probably... They should be these. like gang members and not like guys in suits. Yeah. They run an international oh my God, criminal it's this guy. organization. Here. Oh, is this cocaine guy? This yeah. Is, yeah. <laughs> he's doing the splits and he's real coked up. Let's go. It's kind of neat that he uses a drone to scout it out, but there's not much of a payoff to that. No, he just immediately walks through the kicks the fence door open. I yeah. think he just wanted to show off that he owns a drone. Yeah. Well, he couldn't use it for too long because he had to get it back to James Wynn to make Bird Demic 3. Oh, uh, I thought you were going to say James Eha to make the next Smashing Pumpkins <laughs> album. All no, they, in one shot. They don't use drones for their pathetic videos now. <laughs> They just set the camera Locked on a camera tripod down. and raid the, the wardrobe closet of the local community theater. <laughs> Tell somebody to bring their kids over. <laughs> Take that, Billy Corgan. Billy Corgan, your music videos fucking suck. <laughs> You're an embarrassment to the city of Chicago. Oh, in more ways than five. Have you seen that clip of Billy Corgan on stage just like eating chips? Yeah, that was here. Was that here? Yeah, that's, oh. Oh, that's at the rave or wherever. Oh. Or at the Riverside or wherever they were. But that's Milwaukee. Oh, God. And he just goes back and goes, During the show, during the concert, he's just like he's eating hungry. chips on the stage. I'm like, not mad. During the song? Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, well, we're, gonna, we're not going to show that clip here. No, no. It's too, it's too embarrassing. We wouldn't want to put Billy Gorgon through that. I've seen it so many times. <laughs> We wouldn't show that. Like what is the, 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 someone tweeted it. This is like, despite all my rage, I'm still eating chips on the stage or something. <laughs> I don't know who tweeted yeah. that. No, that's quality. That's, that's, that's good. Quality. That's good. Whoever did that. Yeah, that's yeah. good. That's good. <laughs> so after, <laughs> after, after Shady B uh, beats up all the henchmen in the dirty backyard, he goes inside and frees the sex traffickers. Oh, yeah. Or the sex trafficked women, rather. Yes. And then they go back to their favorite restaurant where they'd been earlier because they- <laughs> Where they, they got them done. They love those goddamn <laughs> empanadas. They cannot resist. Those empanadas are look good. They were big and delicious. 
<laughs> but they said no more red wine. No, all drinking water. Because a guy from the Jersey Shore put powder in our That's red right. wine last time That's we were right. here at the Empanada And Shoney B beats him up. Hey, how are you? I'm doing good. How you doing? How you doing? You're not doing good. Your daughter's been kidnapped. Yeah. Wait, yeah. Is it? Why is he all relaxed now? And we're all safe now. There's no reason. To Going back to the restaurant where you got drugged and forced into <laughs> prostitution. <laughs> Real bold choice. Like, bold choice. If you teach him how to fish, he will never go hungry. You know what I'm trying to say. Hey, what happened to your daughter? <laughs> what? <laughs> Who? <laughs> Seamless. Seamless. You give us enough problem, little girl. Good night. Good night. <laughs> it sounded like he was fucking clo like going off stage. Yeah, he did. Thank Good you. Night, Good night. Thank you, Cleveland. Good night. Well, I thought you got murdered. Because uh, old, old uh, Keith it's Richards. To Burton. <laughs> Burton Keith Richards, elderly man with dyed black hair, was like, hey, little lady. I'm gonna take a needle, put it in your arm, and then it like cuts, uh, cut it away to a, like into, a yeah. cloud, and then it, it turns cuts into a completely different it's syringe. It's like an oral syringe of plastic, and then he's like, Meh. go to sleep now, little lady. Good night! Good night! Good night! <laughs> good night! <laughs> <laughs> he's straight up like he's getting on stage, like, good night! <laughs> I forgot about all that. Thank you, Cleveland! Good, good night! night. <laughs> And it's like the end, yeah, it's like the end of our metal concert. just falls all of ground. Thank you, Cleveland! Good night! Good night! And, and, then, and then we get the same footage from the beginning of the movie where Shuni B is teaching the women how to slap fight their See, attackers th away. this is all the result of editing your movie using Kung Fu. <laughs> this is what happens. It's circular. Scenes don't make sense. Things don't just come back around. around. Don't kick your computer. Don't, don't karate <laughs> kick your you. computer. I'll help you. <laughs> so after, after... Your scenes are going to get fucked up. <laughs> Gouge his eyes. <laughs> Gouge his eyes. <laughs> Gouge his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> After he teaches the women how to defend themselves again, he gets kidnapped off screen? Yes. And drags oh, yeah. over to this pool. This Who gets kidnapped off Shouldn't screen? Shouldn't Shouldn't be. Shouldn't be. Shouldn't be. Wait. Oh, they kidnapped what? What? him? When did that happen? <laughs> oh, I, I was gone. You were in the room. I, I mean, even if we, you were in the room, you wouldn't have seen it because we didn't see it. Yeah, we watched just, the whole he thing. Just, he just gets dragged out of a car with a blindfold on. It just car just pulls up to one of the crime guys' houses, mm. and he's just in the back seat. Yeah. They pull oh, up to, to Burt Reynolds' house from Boogie Nights. Well, you, would, oh, we should, you wouldn't think we're almost done, but we're almost we, done. We should point out, at this point in the movie, there's a big confrontation on the front uh, driveway. You bastard, listen up. I fear no fear. So, Shuni B kills the uh, sex traffic head guy, guy man. Bruno or whatever his name is. He uh, wraps his sword up in a nunchuck and presses his own so sword against his neck with his nunchuck. Something happens and then the anyway, lady walks died. by with a baby carriage. <laughs> with a stroller, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was yeah. the, best, the, the best part of the movie. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Stop. Oh, oh, help! Oh. help. <laughs> <laughs> Another ninja fight in Huntington Beach. <laughs> <laughs> and Mike, hap Mike, Mike happened to put his feet up. So Mike, Mike kicked his feet up on the coffee table and just happened to kick the mouse. We were watching the digital copy of the movie, and it brought up the time left in the movie, and it was one minute. And we were like, "Wait a minute, the story isn't even close to being over." How is there a minute left? Oh my God, really? A minute fifty-six. That doesn't make sense. They have the movie on their phone? Yeah, sir, we've seen this. We got the MMA plot. We haven't seen the other MMA fighter in ages. That's the daughter's right. still the kidnapped. Daughter. We don't know we don't, about the hard, the hard drive. drive. Where's the goddamn hard drive? I'm coming after you. I'm gonna track you, find you. Oh my God, cliffhanger ending? No fucking way. This is Fury 2. 
Yeah! I'm legitimately shocked. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I refuse to believe this. Oh. How do you do that? <laughs> Why do you do that? You run out of budget. That's, uh, <laughs> that's unbelievable. <laughs> oh my god! God! <laughs> Three cinematographers. Wow. I don't believe that. Yeah, I believe he edited it, though. I <laughs> totally believe that. <laughs> oh, yeah. They just didn't Sunny film D. an ending. And I wonder, was it intended to be a setup for a sequel, or did he just run out of time to make the movie because he had to get back to his dojo to teach a class? So I'm stealing the hosting duties. Oh and, my God. And Mike, tell us about Birdemic 3, Sea Eagle. Uh, Before we talk about Birdemic 3, should we establish our history with Birdemic? That's what I was going to do. Okay. Until you rudely interrupted me. <laughs> our history with Birdemic. What do you think you are, Jay, the host? I, I'm just trying to get some structure here because this is a I was nightmare. about to start. Okay, okay. So because go, you go have to it. edit it. Well, it's funny you should talk about struct no structure and being a nightmare. So, Birdemic 3. <laughs> yeah. Uh, our history with the Birdemic series is that we've seen the first one. I, I haven't. Oh, uh, well, haven't okay. I haven't even seen the first one. Okay. Well, we watched the first one in the movie theater. Yes, we went to a midnight screening. This was er in the early days, so it's like, oh, Birdemic, it's the new The Room. Because when people talk about like famous bad movies, it's The Room, Troll 2, and Birdemic are like the three big ones. Yeah, um, I was like, nope. But I think we all hated Birdemic. Yeah. I hated it so much, I just got drunk and fell asleep in the theater. <laughs> Because I did not enjoy it at all. Oh. At, uh, what is it called? The, the Oriental. The Oriental Theater yeah. in Milwaukee, the yeah. famous uh, Oriental Theater in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Beautiful theater. It's Beautiful a, it's a theater. wonderful old Seen classic many theater. great midnight movies. Oh, there. absolutely. Oh, we went Birdemic saw wasn't one of them. 2001? Yeah, that saw? was a good time. Yes. Bir Birdemic kind of, the first Birdemic kind of felt like people that didn't get why B movies are funny. Uh, accumulating or uh, uh, attracting towards a movie that that wasn't right. Yeah, it's like they're trying to make a like a like a cult movie just out of sheer yes. like will or something yes. it, it, because it's bad bad. But it's a cult movie with a message, which a lot of cult movies are just exploitative and just, you know, don't really have a lot going on. There's a message behind Birdemic which is that the environment is in trouble. Yeah, yeah. But but only at the end. Oh, I thought you were gonna make some kind of joke. That's so lame. <laughs> the environment's in trouble? That's so fucking lame. What do we have to save the environment for? So people can make more movies like Birdemic 3? Oh. For fucking birds? The, the, yeah. the first Birdemic film, I think, was like a couple of characters and they're in love and... And, and he's uh, doing a whole, there was a whole like, Weird side bit about like a uh, Hitchcock tribute because he really likes Hitchcock. Oh yeah, the, the director James Wynn really uh, clearly he mentions it many times in this yeah. movie. He loves oh, Hitchcock too many times. I was going down Highway 101 last week and I had to stop and get gas at a gas station in San Juan. Nineteen fifties movie, don't <laughs> you? No, make it black and white, like just like how when it was produced. In the film Vertigo. Uh, no, <laughs> my movies were good back then. <laughs> they, didn't, they didn't let people make movies like this. It looks almost exactly like it did when they filmed Vertigo in 1958, except there's one thing that was there that isn't there now. Really? What is it? Well, you'll have to come with me to San Juan Batista to find out. Oh, he's smooth. And cut. I don't know about Birdemic 2. No one here has saw it. Well, I, I will say this. I, I put in preparation for talking about Birdemic 3, I put Birdemic on an editing timeline and just skimmed through it to kind of refresh my memory. And then I put Birdemic 2 on a timeline and skimmed through it just so I'd have some sort of frame of reference. And now we've watched Birdemic 3. This crazy bastard made the same fucking movie three times. It's the exact same thing. What happens in number B two? Businessman meets girl. They have romance. They go out and have awkward dance scene. Uh, and then birds attack. Oh, and then they go to a hotel room and have oh, the hotel awkward, room. awkward intercourse. That's and then birds attack. That's all three movies. 
But the, uh, I, I don't know, I didn't watch all of the second movie, but the first movie, the bird attacks are kind of sprinkled throughout. Yeah, yeah. Um, this movie, this movie, that doesn't happen. This movie goes on for an hour of awkward romance between these NPCs. It's not the whole story. They're actually dying because of cancer, because of the ocean acidification. That's why one of them washed up on shore. That's tragic. That's tra- By the way. Him. So nice well, clearly that's tragic. So <laughs> tragic. <laughs> biologist then? Marine biologist. Awesome. I'm actually a scientist too. This is this director's fourth feature film. Um, are you having a nice time? <laughs> <laughs> is this, and I know we say this a lot, but it, with no exaggeration, is this the worst movie that we've yes, ever yes. watched? Well, yes. it got yes. to the point that we ha we are concerned yes. that it's not actually a movie. <laughs> yes. And we were considering the option of going yeah. to oh, see oh, James Wynn. It's, the worst it's, thing kind I've of, ever seen. it's kind of similar to the pornography argument of I, I know it when I see it. Yeah. I know that this is not a movie. I know a movie when I see it. Bird Demic 3 ain't it has heated the planet Earth to the point of extinction. Yeah. They did a jump cut for no reason! She didn't even say anything! <laughs> I'm not very good at this, and it might sound cliche, but ever since I met you, Kim, it feels like my life has been uplifted. Oh, God. I can't f***ing stand this. At present, the human race is facing an existential crisis. It is the greatest threat to life on Earth. And back. <laughs> Make use of that dolly. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, you got to, to, don't, don't let your subject get out of the frame. Uh, oof. Oof. <sighs> oof. Oh, my God. Dance with stars, we romance. Earth is a cosmic beauty. It's a cosmic beauty. Earth is a... This is the first time I've ever felt like physical pain watching a movie. <laughs> <laughs> like normally it's just like mental anguish, but I'm starting to feel like physical pain. Oof. So where were they going? Where was? Oh, whatever. They're just going around. Jay, are you looking California? for logic? I, you gotta give me something. No, they don't. They don't have to. They don't have to do anything. They're not legally obligated to you. <laughs> I'm looking. I'm looking for a movie. Yeah. I'm looking for a movie, and so far I've not found one. What is the legal this... What is the legal definition of a movie? <laughs> I don't know if there is a legal definition. I don't think there ever has been. Should we sue the bird demonstrators? <laughs> so we can just so we can just so we can set a precedent. Yeah. What is a movie? You release this as a movie, but it's clearly not a movie. That's not a bad idea. <laughs> James Wynn, <laughs> we're coming for you. I want I want a like a room full of lawyers Whoa. to hash out. What a movie is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, we can call all sorts of experts. We'll get Scorsese in there. <laughs> oh, God. Quentin Scorsese. Tarantino, he'll have some opinions. Oh, this yeah. Is, this is not cinema. Marvel will be just thrown out. Yeah, no. <laughs> we'll, we'll call Patton. We'll start with Patton. <laughs> <laughs> we got a plan, Mike. We got oh, a great boy. idea. We're taking James Wen to court. <laughs> because we feel that this is technically not a movie. There needs to That's be a legal precedence for what is considered a movie. We're going to make it happen. This is people walking out and saying, environment? Yeah. Oh, yes, going up to strangers and going, what are you doing? Well, environment? Environment? Environment. Yeah. Environment. Poorly executed and poorly acted on top of that. Recently, the acidity levels in the ocean have been rising. That's why the sea lions and whales are getting cancer and dying. I have to capture the beauty of this place before it's all gone. A few years ago, it was very rare to find sharks in the Santa Cruz Ocean, right? Okay, but now because of global warming and climate change... This depicts melting ice in the Arctic and Antarctica due to global warming. So that's why I started a company called Code Red Technology to fix and global warming. We will not even have a warning in the $100 billion to build a trees. space elevator that goes from the ground to the earth. You're headed towards a rough About 62 So tragic. This, space this painting here is, is called Melting Ice. Global warming, climate change, the CO2 is screwing up real estate, the ice and transport, cargo, and people to space. Global warming, climate change. We have to do something about this damn global warming. Well, we better fix global warming. This this fails in competence and in, in, on a technical level. That's the frustrating oh, the, thing. Odd, like exposure problems. Yes, yes. We should talk about that. Uh, he clearly shot it on two different cameras. 
Are you okay? One is like, whatever, normal consumer, prosumer grade camera. But then the other one, we weren't sure, like the image looks, I, I theorized that he shot it in log format, which is when the image looks flat right out of the camera. So you have the most range to work with in color grading. And they didn't know how to properly color grade log footage. So it looks weird and dark. One looks like properly or? or one looks like a camera should look. Decently exposed, and then one looks like 24 stops down. And we're cutting between the two in the same like, scene. What are you doing? Yeah, and then the audio is different between the two cameras up and down. too. Yes. I'm not very good at this, and it might sound cliche. But ever since I met you, Kim, Honestly, my feeling was with that, and we had talked about it briefly in the screen, but my feeling is that he learned just enough about how technology has improved since he made the first movie to make it so much worse. <laughs> I'm like, not, here are more options. I'm going to fuck them all up. I'm, I'm not going to say he's deliberately making this bad, but I, I will say... He has no incentive to get better I, because his movies are popular for being bad movies. I got that feeling with the bird attack stuff, which is at the very end of the movie, yeah, yeah. where it's like, oh, people like the plug-in bird effects from yeah. the first movie, so technology I'm just gonna do has, that again. Technology has come so far along that you could do much more realistic bird yeah. plugins and like you know, it definitely like you could do a better job. Oh. oh. He just has a gun. Yeah. Or that way. Can't you try just a little bit? Nope. Oh, oh wow. That was my favorite. Why character. did that happen? The bird demic aspect of this movie feels like uh, like obligatory. Like I guess I yeah. have to put this oh, in. Sure. Well, I don't yeah, want to make another after... bird demic movie. I just want to make a movie about climate change. Okay, but now because of global warming and climate change, it's climate. after an hour of just this, this, these two fuckers <laughs> wandering around up to people and just like, hey, you are doing a thing. Yeah, the environment. Yeah, it's Hello. literally that over and over and yeah. over again. Well, we better fix global warming. Look at this neat whale behind me, environment. <laughs> I'm going to make a space elevator to save the Earth. <laughs> It'll be used to pump the CO2 out of the Earth's atmosphere. Here's how it works. No! And I, I think, and we've often said, like, when you make a movie bad on purpose, it's not entertaining. But I think if someone made an intentionally bad Birdemic sequel, it would be more entertaining than this. <laughs> this this is not bad in like a oh we made a bad movie on purpose wink winky kind of like which is terrible which is yeah no this feels like a genuine failure yeah if you if, if you <laughs> it feels like a lazy failure That's what my mom yeah. said <laughs> but if if you if you made a bad an intentionally bad birdemic movie it would have more story than this yeah. Yeah, it this feels like it, it comes from a very on, sincere like, place. Yeah, but and it it's terrible. Go on about climate change for an hour before anything happened. Yeah. I think it was just lazy. Vertigo. It's actually not just Hitchcock's greatest movie. According to a 2012 survey by the influential Sight and Sound magazine, the film industry, movie critics, and academics voted Vertigo the greatest film of all time, surpassing Citizen Kane. <laughs> this is like what I was saying about Snowfalls, where you just copy and paste Wikipedia. Uh huh. Into script, this into makes dialogue. Snowfalls look like. Well, this is yeah. But this is a step away from having AI just write your movie. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. If AI you want to write a better away. movie, have you it seen might. any clips of that Seinfeld AI? Yeah, yeah. Like that's what no. this feels like. Who knows? Maybe they think they will reduce the late night bagel craving munchies. The world may never know. Well, I guess that is one way to combat late night snacking. Did you know there's actually nine mechanisms of aging? No. It's actually 724 trillion cells in the human body. That's a lot. Yeah. Can we be done with Birdemic? Can this just stop? We've had three <laughs> movies now. Like, after The Room, everyone was like, okay, we're done with Tommy Wiseau. He made a couple other things, but nobody gave a shit. Can we just stop with the Birdemic stuff? Don't encourage this. Yes. We have to accept our fate. It is death. We're, this is a public service announcement. We're, we're doing a public service to say, don't watch Birdemic 3. 
And it's, it's really unfortunate because it's produced by Severin, which is a boutique Blu-ray label that I like a lot. <sighs> they do great work. They put out some of the best box sets. How did they release it? They've hitched their wagon to the Birdemic franchise, and I wish they wouldn't. It's very depressing. It is. It is. It's, it's, it's a sad state of affairs. It's, it's, it's such like, a sadness. It's a, such a sadness. This is the worst thing I've ever seen. Because <laughs> it's the worst thing. And literally, it's the worst thing I've ever seen in my whole life. <laughs> You're gonna vote for it, aren't you? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know I do. <laughs> hi. Oh hi. Is that a rose? What? That's a galaxy. Is that a? Oh my god. His poor eyesight yes. due to climate change. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we'll do, okay, best of the worst, we'll start with Rich. We'll go this uh, way. I, I'm going with uh, uh, Fights of Fury. Fight of Fury? Fight, Fury. Fury. Fight or Fury, whatever. Fight of Fury. Fight of Fury, <laughs> Fight of Fury is the best of the worst today because it gave us a bizarre, interesting character who is a real person. It was a, a bizarre, classic black spine. It's a classic, Class, uh, classic black, black spine, top. classic uh, black tank top. I was saying when we were watching it that this could have been a spotlight. Yeah, a lot of weird stuff. Well, a lot stuff. to unpack in Fight of Fury. Yeah. Josh? I'm 100% with Rich. It's, it's fight, fight, Fury, fight. Fury, <laughs> fight, fury, fury, fury fight. fight of. Fight, fight, fight. Final, final Fury fight. Because <laughs> we, got fight the end of it. we got to the end of it and we all were just like, what happens now? Yeah. Oh, I, and I've never seen a movie have the gall do that on this show. Yeah. yeah. They just end and say, oh, can't wait to see what happens next. Can you want you? more, don't you? I want to see the next movie. Yeah, absolutely. I definitely want to see the next movie. I do not want to see a Birdemic 4. No. I don't want to see what happens three months later with the Mega Lightning. Mm -mm. I want more F Fury Fight. <laughs> just. Mike? Uh, I, I, I agree. In terms of... Oh, God. <laughs> 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 the bar is very low. Sure. Oh, well, my best, uh, Fight of Fury is best yeah. of the worst for all the reasons everybody's already said. I think Birdemic 3, as we've said, is the worst thing ever. I would love to destroy it. It's weird. We don't have a physical copy to destroy. We have a fake oh, yeah. thing that we made. Do we have to break into Amazon servers? <laughs> Can we delete this from... Oh, my what, God. That whatever. would be epic. <laughs> <laughs> we hire a hacker? Yeah. yeah. Who do we call? Oceans 4? <laughs> I, I think we could safely say watch Fight of Fury. He's very bad. Sure. But his heart is in the martial arts. Oh, yeah. yeah as far yeah. as we know, his dojo is very well respected. I think we yeah. looked at the Yelp and people like it. He's not great at staging an exciting fight scene, no, but, but, but he tried, goddammit. He tried. Yeah. He needs a little help in constructing a, a, a feature film narrative. Mm. Mm. Yes. And maybe some camera work and some technical stuff. He needs to. And maybe he hasn't quite earned the gall to not conclude any of the plots he's set up <laughs> in his movie. There's that, yes. <laughs> So, so Fight of, Fight of still Fury 2 even. Has, has, has so much potential. Yeah. But Birdemic <laughs> 3 or Birdemic 4. There's nowhere to go. That guy needs to stop. <laughs> Be done. <laughs> Whoever made this needs to move on to something else. <laughs> you know what? I want to see this person direct a straight drama. Sure. Yeah. You don't do don't do like disaster porn. Yeah. Get, out Get, out Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> Right here. Oh. What? <laughs> <laughs> you know how the show, like, we pick the best of the worst and then we destroy something? <laughs> this is a disaster. <laughs> Sunny B, Sunny B, Sunny B, make Bur Fight of Fury 2 <laughs> and make it real good. And, and we'll. Please. And if you Shuni, uh, call us. If yeah. you need funding do you, for this Yeah, movie, do you need money to finish your film? Call do it. Let do us it. know. Yes, 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 yes. You, we you want have, it. You have potential. Uh, James Wynn, we'll give you money to not make any more movies. Oh, that too. Contact us about that as yeah. well. James, yeah. you take that money and you give it to Shuni B. Yeah. Hey, yeah, you're all in California. Yeah. Or just give the money to the environment. Oh, you can do that too. That would do far more good but for the environment. We can, have, we can have Fights of Fury too. I think Fight of Fury 2 would do a lot for the environment as well. 
So you know what? It'd keep people indoors watching movies, and then they wouldn't get mega lightning. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so many landfills with Blu-rays. Yeah. 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 Goodbye, good everybody. I'm out of here. Bye, oh, everyone. Good. Good. I'm going home. Bye. Oh, I'm stuck in the shirt. Maybe, maybe we should drive me over to the Amazon like warehouse, and I could ask them if they have any copies of Rodemic Three Wings to destroy. Oh. Mm. They might. Is Jeff Bezos around? Oh, Bezos! <laughs> we didn't even talk about Bezos! I'd like to talk to Where do you want my copies of her dead for? <laughs> would, you, would you let us in there so we could destroy your servers? Which, which computer has been Which computer been? has the bird demic? Rich Evans was a superstar in the entertainment world. He had built up a large following through his work with Red Letter Media, and many fans looked to him as an icon of justice. So when news broke that he had been arrested for breaking into an Amazon warehouse in order to destroy the server which held Birdemic 3 people were stunned. The police had been tipped off by an anonymous source about Richie's plan, and they swooped down on the warehouse late at night while he was still inside. When they confronted him, he calmly explained that Birdemic 3 was such an affront to art and decency that it simply couldn't be allowed to exist any longer. As news of Richie's arrest spread across social media and beyond, reactions ranged from shock and horror all the way through support and adulation after all, most people agreed with his sentiment if not his chosen method of expressing it. Soon enough there were campaigns launched online calling for his release from jail petitions circulated demanding justice for which even celebrities got involved in voicing their opinion about what should happen next. Eventually public pressure won out over corporate greed after several months spent behind bars awaiting trial. Rich Evans walked free once again. The charges against him were dropped due to lack of evidence and no doubt some backroom deals being made. But more importantly than anything else. Birdemic 3 was never released. <laughs>